Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Continuing with our female family cards, today I'm going to make the sister card. Um, I'm using the stamp set for the flowers Everything is Rosy. Thanks to my upliner, she let me use this. So I have, I'm going to use the flowers, the larger flower, the sentiments, I'm using Family Party and I'm going to use To A Wonderful. The sister bit is my own stamp and I'm using these family stamps I've got because I like the script on that. And the happy birthday comes from Big On Birthdays, which I haven't got a stamp set out. But it's big on birthday, retired stamp set. Um, so that's the flowers. The leaves and everything I've cut out. It's all Everything's all cut out ready. The leaves have come from Beautiful Bouquet dies. And the butterfly is one of my own. The same as the trellis stuff. So to make this card you will need... Let's get rid of all them bits. A card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eight and burnished. And two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside and one we're going to work on. On the inside, I've already stamped the flower because on the last card I forgot to do it. I've just got a stamp, um, it's your day on the inside. Right, you also need a frame. Ooh. This frame measures two and a quarter by three and three quarters. I use the rectangle frames for that. And a piece of coloured cardstock, I'm using Highland Heather um, of two and one eighths by three and five eighths, and that would just sit on the inside, just giving a tiny border all round. Also, I have added a, like a trellis bit here. Now, this trellis comes from some dies I got years ago and this is what I've got left I've got this trellis I got them off of eBay when I first started and I found them in the cupboard and I thought oh, I'll use them there's this big bit of roses it's quite pretty isn't it another sort of trellis one and this one's all leaves, which I thought was nice. There was a few others which I used, then I put it away, forgot about it. I come across it the other day, so I am going to be using a bit of this. So. Put them back in there. that there for a minute because I need to cut some. So what I did, I put this purple bit on it and then with my snips I cut round it.
got to keep them in the envelope to keep it stop them from bending and then I just glued that on there like that and when you put the frame on you can't see the edges and it will work out like that which I think is quite nice so let's get this on the road let's do our stamping first so with my black ink and 2O Wonderful sister I'm going to stamp it upside down do a wonderful make sure it's straight it is give my stamps a really good clean when I finish this series right let's get our Highland Heather out and ink up the word sister and I should pop that there Just nice, and then the word happy birthday underneath. That's quite nice. Close it. Oh no, need the inside bit. I'm going to stamp. It's your day. I'm going to stamp that in the middle. That's not very really straight, is it? Turn it over and stamp it again. That's better. Right, I have a scrap piece of card. And Highland Heather ink. And the flower stamp, which I never got out. We need three of these flowers. And I'll just stamp them. But don't worry, they will come in handy. You will see me use these in a card in the future. And then with the dies, which are here, I would use this die and cut out that way and cut cut them out. But like I said, I've already got them cut out, so I don't need to use them. Got all these lovely leaves. I mean, when I made this card, I had an ugly flower on it, and then when Katie gave me these, this stamp set. I changed the flowers. <laughs> That's why the leaves are not, I didn't use them leaves. All right, need our glue and I'm 
I go into glue this trellis bit on. So just the spots. I want to just wipe that off so I don't have any big blobs overspilling. And then I shall stick this bit of trellis. I mean, if you've got a die that'll do this, that's fine. I'll do that for like I did. And then we will stick that on there. So what I'm going to do is just put a only glue around the trellis and pop that on. Like that, and that will sit on there, on dimensionals. Let's get, no, I finished off the dimensionals. So I need a new packet out. some on the back. So it back into Place this about there. And then before I go any further, I'm going to put this on my base. So I'll put the inside bit in. Can't believe I'm filming at nine o'clock in the morning. Up early this morning, we had to put our grandson out to school. Right, now then, I have got all these leaves and flowers and butterflies. Oh, I've got four flowers. Don't need four flowers. Right. What I did was I chopped half these tails off the leaves don't need all them on right and last 
schon. Das ist ein Zimmer Pile. I the leaves I will put on. Right, two of these. These two are cut out in. Oh my god. Mossy Meadow. And so are these. And then I cut these little ones out in Peppers as just to give a different colour and that's how I did it just piled them up either side so let's stick these on bit of glue Husband's out mowing the grass and sorting out the back alleyway, getting rid of weeds and tidying it up. We don't use the back alleyway, but my grandson, when he's here, brings his bike through the back. It couldn't get through for weeds. But the back alleyway is not just for us, it's for other houses, but nobody else does it. So it's left for my poor husband to do. I just pile them up. Last leaf. Right, and the flowers. Oh, I know what I did with them. What I did was I laid two flowers like that and one on top. But first, I need that one. I glued that flower on top of that one, and then this flower I glued on top of all of them. Oops, got to leave some. And then I put dimensionals on. So the dimensionals go. I want it off the edge. There, there, and there. So we put one on there. Just sit on like that. I think that needs a double. That's what I did. A double one under this one. That's 
into it. Right. And then the butterfly, all I did is I cut it out and backed it onto some gorgeous, no, what's it called? Gorgeous grape, isn't it? Yeah. And that I stick there. So we will just glue that and stick this body on. Let's take them off the frame. That's all that's left to do is add some gems. I've got a spare flower. some faceted gems and I put one in the middle there one in the middle there don't think Oh yeah, one in the middle of that one. Can't get back in the bag now. There they are. And then with some little gems, I shall place five on the card, just to make it sparkle a bit. Two close together there, and two there. And there we have it. Oh, straight one. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cars, please subscribe. Oh, I forgot the butterfly. Yeah, please subscribe and um, press the bell icon and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But of course, doing this family card series, I am actually putting them out every day. straight putting them on yep. so if you come back tomorrow you will see another member getting a card all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon